Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Shalom, the Lord bless you. My name is Roger, and I welcome you to God's Move channel with Pastor Roger. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. If you're watching me for the first time, you're highly welcome. Just kindly click on the button subscribe, like the videos, and share it with your loved ones. And God, who is a rewarder of men, will bless you mightily and abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The prophetic word of today, the Lord says, He has choose you and nothing will change it. He has chosen you and nothing, nothing, nothing will change it. Either it is you or it is no one else. Hallelujah. We live in a generation where sometimes we are so much angry with one another just for the fact that someone have decided that you will be the only one to do this or that. And you're like, no, why? Why only me? But this person will have made his decision and choose. I say, you, you will do it and only you, no one else. Praise God. Hallelujah. But do not forget, whatever God asks you to do doesn't mean there's no substitute. He can use anyone else to do that. But let's look at the life of Jonah. The Bible makes us understand when God told Jonah to go to the uni to the to Nineveh, he did not want to. He refuses. But the Lord said, oh, he only he will go there and no one else. The Lord has chosen him. Mm. The Lord has chosen him and no one else. He said, you have to go to Nineveh. And he refused and rejected and declined all by all way, by all direction that he will not do it. But the Lord, God, that God that we serve, is a God of diverse means. So what happened? The Lord derived a strategy by, doing, by bringing a fish to take him into the stomach of a fish. So the fish came, swallowed him, stored him, in, stored him in his stomach, took him to Nineveh and dropped him there. Mm. Took him to Nineveh and dropped him there. Remember, being in the stomach of a fish where he can eat, he can breathe, he can drink water, he can do anything but at that particular stage, God kept him. God preserved him. Until when he arrived in Nineveh, God, and then they feel what happened? The fish simply released release him. So therefore, his medium of transportation from where he was to Nineveh was through the stomach of the fish. Just as you are traveling from your country to another by flight, some others by road or by water or by air, he traveled in the stomach of the fish, not even in the boat or in the ship, not even in the plane or in the car, but in the stomach of the fish with all that, with, with everything that comes with it, no comfort at all. He traveled in that matter, in that manner. So this is to say, when God chooses you to do something, nothing stops it. It would be you and only you and no one else. No one else. You keep asking yourself a question. Why is it I am the only one going through this pain in the family? What is happening to me? Despite what I do, I'm going through challenges because the Lord has chosen you to be the liberator of the family. Your yes, I, this is a confirmation. The Lord said, I should tell you, for this is a confirmation that he has chosen you to be the liberator of the family. That is why you're going through all that. But the end of it is it will end in praise. It will end in glory. So do not cry. Do not lament yourself. Do not, do not tell yourself. Do not torment yourself. For it will only end in praise. Just obey the words of the Lord and do that which he asks you to do. And everything will work for good. Hallelujah. The Bible says everything worketh for good for those that trust and believe unto thy God. So trust and believe unto God. Trust and believe unto Jesus and everything will work for your good. No matter the situation that comes your way, no matter the challenge that comes your way, God, 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 God will see you through. He will take you through. You will 
pass through it. For the Bible says, even though even though I pass through the valley and the shadow of death, passing through that valley or the shadow of death doesn't mean you're passing through tar. It is not glory. It is not pleasant. It is not conducive. You are uncomfortable. You are uncomfortable. Things, a lot of things happen within that within that period. But He says nothing will happen to you. But what will only bring affliction and pain onto you is because of fear, because you allow greed to, or fear to in your hold to take hold of you. This is one of the greatest enemy or the greatest weapon that the devil has used to bring the children of God under captivity is fear. He induces fear within you and because and the moment you accept the fear you therefore open the doors and the portals for the enemy to come in and grip you and you find yourself being unable to do that which you should do. Apostle Paul said, Oh Lord God, that which I have to do, I don't do it. But that which I do not want to do, I found myself doing it. Praise God. The Lord said, for he has chosen you and no one else. For he has chosen you and no one else. So whatever you have to go through to come out of that tunnel, please go through it for the end of it is glory. The end of it is glory. The end of it, his glory. No matter what Joseph, if Joseph had knew that he would, he would go through all those challenges, all those pain before ever becoming becoming the prime minister or whatever he became, he wouldn't have accepted it. But God made it in a way that he knew not that the journey has started, that his mission, his assignment has started. And God used his brothers who sold him. And that is what happened. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So you are in that situation because God has placed you there. The end of it, there's a lesson you will learn and the end of it is glory, is praise, is glorious, is mighty, is wonderful. I pray for you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name. May God give you the ability to endure that which you have to endure for you will end in praise in the name of Jesus Christ. May God give you the spirit of discernment to understand his will, his purpose, his, his mission, his assignment over your life. In the name of Jesus, and may you, may your heart not be hardened to follow the word of God. May your heart not be hardened to obey the voice of God. For the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, for out of heaven he made you, he called you to instruct you. But most of we hear the voice of God but we refuse to do what God is asking us to do. I pray today may God give you the grace to hearken unto his voice. Unto his voice and do that which he tells you to do. Even though it may seem impossible in the eyes of men, for nothing is impossible with God. May God give you the ability in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are blessed. You are favored and you are lifted. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay blessed and God bless you. Shalom.